Namaste. In this session, we will look at outliers. Now, what are outliers? Well, outliers are data points which differ significantly from the other data points. And there are also those head scratching data points which can give you sleepless nights if not handled properly. Defining what is and what is not an outlier varies according to the business problem at hand and sometimes even two people might disagree on a certain data point whether that is an outlier or not. So it is a rather subjective issue and you just cannot pinpoint on a data point and say that this is an outlier. And also outliers are supposed to be rare in nature. So if your number of outliers in your data is not rare then that means that there is something going on with the data and we need to inspect it properly. For example, if we are trying to predict the salary of a person by their age, then when we uh, note down the people's ages and salaries, we see that most of the people follow this trend line that as the age increases, the salary also increases. But we see these two data points which are quite distant from the other data points, right? So maybe this person is a startup founder and maybe somebody invested a huge amount in his company and hence the CEO, this teenage CEO is now earning a very huge amount of money and maybe this person was also in a corporate job but he quit his job for some reason and now he is re-entering the job market and hence he has to begin from the very beginning again. So you see these two data points which seem like outliers are actually valid data points but they seem like outliers here. Now when are outliers bad? For example, we do an online survey about usage habits of people on a particular social media platform which started 7 years back. So one of the questions was that for how many years have they been using the platform? Okay, so quite a straightforward question. But when we check the results, we find that one folk has responded with 17 years. But we know that it is not quite possible, right? Because the company was started only 7 years back and this folk has responded with 17 years. This is an outlier point. This 17 data point, this is an outlier. Because we have no idea about its real value, right? We cannot say whether this person meant only 1 year or 7 years or maybe he misunderstood the question. We, can, we have no idea about this. Hence, it makes sense in this scenario to drop this data point or if possible we can hunt down this person and note down the correct value. But it doesn't really make sense to drop every single outlier from the data. For example, if we have a fraud detection scenario then most likely the fraud cases are going to be labeled as outliers, right? Because for a fraud case, uh, if somebody has stolen somebody's credit card then they will obviously try to go to some other area to some other state or some other country and then try to do the transaction and also the transaction amount might be a high amount. So those will be seen as outliers but they are not really outliers, right? They are actually the main basis of this machine learning problem to detect the fraudulent cases. Thus we should ideally first check if the outliers are measurement errors or are they valid ones. Uh, inspection of these outliers could also lead to some other interesting discovery about the data like we could come to a conclusion that our data collection method was flawed or maybe that we need to include some extra features to handle the rare cases. For example, in the data that we saw before between age and salary, we could add extra features that asks the respondent whether they were jobless for a period of time. So if we add this particular feature then we could correctly classify this person because uh, this person was jobless for a period of time and hence his salary is so low or are they startup founders so maybe that could also be a feature because if they are startup founders then it could be a case for them to have a high salary amount at a very young age so you know this kind of outliers they can help us in our data discovery and in our problem statement as well now in short when should we drop the outliers when we are absolutely sure that the data is a measurement error. If you know it is a measurement error and we have no clue about how to track those people down, then we should drop that data point. Number two, when the number of good cases dwarf the number of outliers. For example, if we have a million data samples and only a few thousand of potential outliers, I say potential because no one can say whether it is an outlier or not. It depends from business case to business case. So if you think that it is a potential outlier and there are only a few thousand in numbers out of a million data samples, 
then it might not be the worst decision to drop them altogether. Otherwise, it is time to handle those messy outliers. Well, outliers only tend to affect models which rely on assigning weights to parameters. For example, linear models or ADA boost, etc. Because these models they rely on you know they assigning they are assigning weights to different parameters, then that could skew our results very much. Outliers do not normally tend to affect the tree-based models because they rely on dividing the feature space into various subsections, right? Because if you are familiar with a tree-based model, it will basically divide the data space into sections that if it is lesser than this value, it is class A, if it is greater than this value, class B. And hence, the outliers do not tend to affect in this case. Now, in the following tutorials, we will look at a suite of measures we can adopt to handle these outliers. 